Disclaimer, this video is for review and entertainment purposes only. Grave Uncut is in no way endorsed by G Fuel or any of its affiliates. Enjoy. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Grave Uncut. Today we have a video project that's been a few years in the making. This is part one of a three-part series where I review G Fuel powders. These have been rewritten for a variety of reasons. Um, some of it because some people ended up moving during the pandemic. Um, there were some people that were not able to be part of the skits. But I was determined on actually getting this out to you guys. Um, I know it's been... I've been talking about this for quite some time, and a lot of the people that did get involved at some point in the series kind of getting a little antsy and didn't think I was actually going to drop the videos. But I was determined to get the videos out. So without further ado, here is part one of Ray Reviews G Fuel. This one is ba basically um, the starter kit for G Fuel. So... Enjoy. I have been trying to quit soda for several years, usually drinking it to keep awake during work or whatever. So a friend told me about G Fuel, and I ended up getting myself the starter kit. I figured, hey, why not document my week on G Fuel and check out the different flavors. This was the outcome. Alright, so day two, trying G Fuel. So the flavor I went with out of the pack that I got was the cotton candy flavor. Got it right here to start my day. What can I necessarily say about it so far? Uh, after mixing it up and whatnot, it kind of smells like Lucky Charms. Not necessarily one of my favorite flavors. It tastes all right. It doesn't taste terrible, but um, kind of lacking. I mean, after yesterday when I tried the kiwi strawberry, the kiwi strawberry tasted a little bit better. Even though the kiwi strawberry, the taste kind of like hit a little weird in the beginning. This is what I thought so far of uh, cotton candy. Definitely worth the try, but I don't necessarily see myself buying a tub of it. All right, so let's see how fruit punch tastes. Once again, back on my way to work. Goddamn. That's actually really fucking good. So far, this one's in the lead out of the uh, star kit that I got for my favorite. The whole thing is, as far as me starting this, not only was it because uh, Race, well, didn't Race didn't necessarily talk me into trying it, he suggested it. I've been trying to find an alternative to uh, cut my soda intake down. And honestly, as since starting this up, I haven't had the need or desire to drink any soda. Hell, I haven't even had any coffee in the last, like, couple of days. And usually after finishing one of those, those get me through the day. Like, one of those a day, I'm so far pretty good. Okay, day four, G Fuel. Today I'm going to try pink lemonade. Uh, so far, I've been doing pretty good with it. Um... Minimal time drinking soda. I've like had maybe like one or two glasses here and there. But let's see how we're going to do. So far, not bad. Not really tasting the lemonade to it. But it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. It's up there. Um, I mean, out of the flavors that I've tried so far, it's not. This is, I'm not saying it's the best. But so far from what I'm standing at, it's like at third place. From the flavors that I had. So, as far as the standpoint is so far today, um, let me see. What the, fuck was the worst one had to have been uh, uh, the cotton candy. Cotton candy had is by far the worst one so far. Uh, ahead of that is pink lemonade. Uh, Fruit Punch and Kiwi Strawberry to toss up. Uh, I still say Kiwi Strawberry so far is my favorite out of the four that I've had. And uh, any kind of coffee crave, any kind of soda cravings has been cut down deeply. Uh, I think I've only had like over the last four days, I've only had like maybe like one or two glasses during the dinner at that point. All right, day four G Fuel. So today's flavor is the sour cherry. Now, as far as, like, what I'm more appreciative of as far as flavors and tastes, I'm not necessarily a big sour fan, but this one's not really overpowered by the sour. 
It actually tastes halfway decent. I'm not a cherry fan either in the slightest, but it's not that bad. I mean, uh, would I buy a tub of it? Probably not, but it's not, it's not a terrible taste. As I said uh, previous parts on this video, the craving for any kind of soda or caffeine or whatever has been very minimal. Uh, I would say since drinking it so far, I've had maybe, uh, I want to say like a cup of soda here and there, maybe a cup of coffee like once or, once or twice this week. Otherwise, I've got no cravings for it. It's like very, very minimal. All right, day six of trying out G Fuel. And possibly day 732.9 of quarantine. Anyway, Sour Blue Chug Rug. Where the fuck are you getting these names? But hey, it, I hope it tastes good. I just mixed it up uh, on my way to work. Let's see. Well, damn. Now, as I mentioned uh, the other day, trying the uh, sour cherry one. I'm not a big cherry fan, but that tastes like blueberry. Not blueberry, uh, blue raspberry. I like blue raspberry. Actually, I don't know what it is with anything flavored, but anything that's got blue in it, it tastes fucking awesome. So, out of the sour flavors, that one's actually pretty good. Uh, yeah, my my soda cravings are basically almost I'm pretty much gone at this point. And uh, I haven't really touched coffee either. Well, here we are, day seven of my uh, G Fuel taste test. Uh, as you guys all know, uh, I got like the starter kit, so it came with like seven flavors, which held me over through the week. And a lot of the flavors that I got were pretty good. Uh, maybe like two or three of them were a little meh. But the last flavor that I saved for today was the Raging Gummy Fish. Now, my expectations are... I'm honestly expecting to be drinking a Swedish fish. You know, little red fish candy shits? That's kind of what I'm expecting here. And according to what I've been told, this is supposed to be one of the better flavors. Let's jump into this. It kind of tastes like Oh fuck that's good It literally tastes like a Swedish fish had sex with the Kool-Aid man That's what I'm tasting I'm tasting a mix of Kool-Aid and Swedish fish I gotta get myself a tub of this <laughs> So to give my opinion on G Fuel it's great. I love the option for flavors. I have can easily say I've cut down on soda greatly. Just from this experience alone, I could easily say that I have had no drive to grab soda at all. Um, just one G Fuel in the beginning of the day and it kind of carries me throughout. If I had to pick my least favorite G Fuel flavors, it would have to go to the Cotton Candy pink lemonade, and the sour cherry. I know some people might argue with me on that, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a huge sour fan, and I feel like the cotton candy, the flavoring was a little too sweet. Now, as for my favorite flavors out of this video, it would have to definitely go to the Raging Gummy Fish, the Kiwi Strawberry, and the Sour Blue Chug Rug. Now, I know I previously said that I'm not a huge sour fan, 
but at least the sour in this is not like overpowered like it was with the sour cherry. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know this is a different style of video. You guys are used to either seeing the Pokemon card unboxings. I know it's been a long time since I've done like a sit down video with you guys. But uh, this has been episode one of Grave Tries G Fuel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more and hit that bell icon to be notified for future videos. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one.